Good morning, Roadrunners. Uh, I believe this is week nine. And since we are starting our first quarter, that's about, that sounds about right. Uh, week nine of Time of Hope. And for today, I'd like to share the following Bible text with you. I know this is a little bit different because um, it's been almost two years since I have done any of these, you know, uh, videos where I'm in my office or that I'm actually facing you and talking to you. Normally, I take advantage of any any space out in nature that I can share with you. Uh, to me, those are definitely the, the ones that I enjoy doing the most. But however, these videos, uh, this week's and next week's, which I'm going to share with you, have to do with uh, our upcoming accreditation uh, visit from WASC. Uh, WASC stands for Western Association of Schools and Colleges. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what they do, but first I want to give you the spiritual, um, the spiritual connection for this time of hope. And that is coming from Micah 6, 8. And I know you have heard me say this a lot, but this is um, also one of my favorite Bible texts, which I truly take inspiration from. And it says, but he's already made it plain how to live, what to do, and what God is looking for in men and women. I'm reading from the message uh, translation. It's quite simple. Do what is fair, do what is fair, do what is just to your neighbor, and be compassionate and loyal in your love. And do not take yourself too seriously. Take God seriously. That's Micah 6, 8. And I'll talk about Micah 6, 8 um, this week and next week again. And it's going to be just um, two separate videos for you. And I'm getting them ready ahead of time because we will be out with the seniors to Pacific Union College. But the gist of this text is, you know, God has already shown you that there, there are things that anybody who who follows him, anybody who wants to, you know, follow in Christ's steps should be doing. And that is to walk in a humble way, to want things to be fair, to love justice, right? Um, as the older versions, translations um, say, and um, to, to be compassionate, you know, to love mercy. So with this, with this text, I'd like to open up you know about who we are as a school and I know that in in regards to our philosophy the way that we guide you the way that we issue consequences for behavior um, a lot of times you know there's some pushback because they're like well I didn't do anything wrong or that wasn't wrong or you know and it seems that you know sometimes our uh, our, our way of seeing the world is misaligned with how the world really is. And I think that that's the reason we exist. Uh, because we, as a school, want you to know that there is a higher standard uh, for for those, I mean, for everybody who wants to, to embrace God's love. And it is that, from that point of view, that I'd like to give you a little bit more information about our WASC visit. Uh, because uh, what WASC does, and WASC is, you know, as I already said, the initials are Western Association of Schools and Colleges. So what WASC um, does as an organization uh, is to make sure that schools that say they're doing something are actually doing it. So um, that whole process, you know, of course, you know, um, that's in very colloquial language, but basically what they do is just they verify that a school is doing what they say they do. And Calexico Mission School um, has continually, you know, ever, um, I think for maybe the past 20 years, uh, been in this process uh, called um, Focus on Learning, which means that everything that we do, we hope to make an impact on our student learning. Uh, you are going to be, you know, consistently, you know, hearing us talk about, um, you know, our student learner goals. They used to be student learner outcomes, 
Um, and if you um, just look around in your classroom, you're going to see, you see, that, oh, let me see, pointing the wrong direction. Over there, right there. That's our poster that we have uh, where our student learner goals, they used to be outcomes, they still say outcomes on the poster, but now um, the, the new um, way of expressing, you know, that is goals because this is what we want. You know, this is who we want our students to embody when they graduate from Calexico Mission School. And so um, you see the Christ because what we want is to show the image of Christ as you go out into the world. And when people see you, they do see that there is a difference between a Calexico Mission School graduate and a graduate from any other school. Um, and I'm going to leave it right here for next week. We'll give you um, the rest of this. I do want you to know that during this week, uh, we will be sharing this um, sticker that has, as you notice right here, uh, there we go, uh, right here, our um, student learner goals, and of course our motto of educating the hand, the mind, and the heart. And uh, as we take time to remind you of what it is that we do, uh, I want you to keep in the forefront of all of this that you know God has shown us who we should be if we embrace his love and through Micah 6 8 I hope that we continue to um, show ourselves as you know who we say we want to be which are people who you know are humble that even though we win a game we can enjoy it and we we can also be empathetic for those that didn't win. Um, people that want to see justice, um, that things, you know, integral, right, to, to who we are, um, and that we also are compassionate and are merciful. And with that, I want to remind you that there is always hope. Blessings. See you next week.